Hello, my desktop publishing students. Um, this will be your second assignment. Now, um, when you look for it, go to the V drive and it's called XX Weekly Salary. You didn't do all of this one, so um, use mine from the V drive. So go to XX Weekly Salary and save it with your name, the current date, and charts in front of the XX. Okay, in this assignment, you've been asked to make a 3D pie chart. All right, so therefore, hold on. Therefore, we want to click in cell A1, hold down your shift key, and click in A9. Now, you've got your data selected for the names. Now, hold down your control key, and we want to take the net pay, which is J1 down to J9. So again, you used your control key for random selections, not consecutive. All right, so now go to the Insert tab. And this time go to Pi, and we want a 3D Pi. So there's our 3D Pi, which is just fine. And I'll move it down here, and I'll maybe just make it a bit bigger, just so that it's easier for you to see. Okay, so now the ask is to click on the chart area. So remember, there's the chart area anywhere you click, and put in a background. So right click, and go to Format Chart Area, and we want to go to Fill and choose a solid fill or a fill of your choice it doesn't matter to me okay so i'm going to go something um what about this one okay that's something light okay the chart area is filled and then um, it said add a border style so go to border and i'm going to go with a solid line because i went with purple i'm going to go with a purple border I'm going to make it thicker so that you can see it and I can see it. This time I won't use the rounded um, corners because I did that with you. Mind you, oh, it does say use rounded corners. All right, so go down to rounded corners, put on rounded corners, and uh, use a border style. So if my border style, I'm going to choose a dotted one just for the heck of it so that refresh your memory that you know how to do that. Okay, that's good. And now we want to add some data labels to this. So we want to go to Add Chart Element. And you're going to say Data Labels. And I think we'll go with, okay, there's Outside End, Inside End. Well, if we go with Inside End, and what about Best Fit? Okay, Best Fit, all right, we can. But you can see they're not readable. So click on your Data Labels, and we've got to go to Fill. And you've got to put a light fill in of some kind on them. Um, so that you can read them. Okay. All right. So that looks good. Now we want a dollar sign though on these data labels. So I'm going to go here and no, I have to go here. Yeah. Okay. I want to go to number and I'm just it said, just leave them at general and um, or I'll put on, I'll go with a county like we've always done. And we want zero decimal places. Oh no, we need two decimal places. So leave the dollar sign in two decimal places. That's good. All right, so we've done that. So now um, we've got them placed, the data labels. All right, the next thing says um, click once to select the whole pie. Okay, well, I've got here, I'm going to click the whole pie and it's all selected. And now you click one more time on the largest piece which is this one that's at 25. So you can see the handles on that piece of the pie. All right. So it asks you to fill it with a picture. All right. So, and it says, make sure you see format data point, which we see, and we want to go back to fill, and we want to go to picture. And it said you can use a picture from your folder or a picture that you want. Okay. So I'm going to see, I don't know if we have one. I should have one in my file. And um, so let me have a look here. So I'll go to Data D, L Mansell, and have I got any pictures? No, I don't think so. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to take any more time. I'm going to go online and um, let's see what we can find on Bing. And I'll put in here uh, salary. look that great. Uh, 
um, search Bing. I'm going to put in earnings. All right, I went to look on Bing and I couldn't find anything that I liked online. Maybe you found something. So I have put some pictures in the, v, in the classes drive for you if you need to find a picture. So I'm going to go to File and I want to insert picture from. And I want to go to your classes drive and I'm going to go to desktop publishing and I'm going to go to pictures and we got a few pictures here that you could use so I like this as a full colored one so I'll use this one insert and there's our picture that we put in okay so you can use whatever picture you wanted but if you want to go to the classes drive that's available to you Okay, now it says click on the next largest piece of pie. Oh, I missed one. Here's 25, here's 26. So I need to be on this 26 one. So, um, well, I've got them reversed, but I'm not going to change it now. It's okay. All right, and it said fill it with a picture. Okay, so once again, we're going to go to our fill. And we want to use a picture. And from file, and then we'll choose another one here. So I'm going to choose this one, insert, and there you can see that one. And now, and again, I missed the 27, so I'm going to go to this one. So, because we need to have three done with a picture. So as long as you've got three of them done, that's good. So we got the 27, the 26, and the 25. We made it. We worked it out. All right, so I'm going to go to picture. I'm going to go to file and this time I will choose maybe this one. All right, and insert it. Okay, so we got three pictures there. That's what we wanted. All right, save your work if you haven't. Now, this time, click on the chart area for me and I want you to right click and I want you to go to rotation go to 3D rotation. All right, you've seen this one before. So I want you to adjust the rotation and you're going to put the three largest pieces at the top of the chart. All right, so we're going to go around, round, round until the three largest pieces are at the top. Can I go one more? Yeah, I think I can. Okay, so there they are. 27, 26, and 25 all at the top of the screen. Now, it also said play with the Y rotation. So play with the Y and look at your perspective and pick out something that you like there. And um, here, go to your perspective and you can decide how you want it to look. All right, so you've done that. So now it says um, click on the largest piece of the pie. So this time I've got to make sure I get it right. And this is the 27, right? And I just make sure you're on the one piece of the pie and drag it out slightly. Maybe I can go out a little bit more there, okay? And um, now it said do it for the second largest piece. So the second largest piece, click on it, drag it out a bit. And then with the third largest piece, drag it out a bit. So you're just showing me that you know how to do that. All right, so that is good. And um, now uh, the title, we're okay with the title in the center, but if you weren't, you could move it over to here and you know how to color it. I'm not going to do that for you. All right, so that's all that we need up to this point. So click on your spreadsheet and go Control S to save. Now let's take a look at this one. I don't know if there's any headers or footers on here. So let's go to File, Print, and I hope we got a preview, and we do. Okay, the headers and footers are on there, and uh, so that's good, and everything looks 100%. You can see your chart fits in there. You've got one of one, so that's great. Now the only thing different that would be, let's go to Header, and on your custom header, remember I ask you to place the 
page of pages here. So page, spacebar, OF, spacebar, pages. All right. And of course, put your name in there. And uh, your custom footer, we don't need the page down here because we've already got it in the header. And we'll, you'll likely have a picture here. So um, I'll just go here, insert a picture. And uh, I'm going to say from file. So I'm going to browse. And uh, I'll take this one. I don't think I'd be, oh, here, I'll take this one. This will be good. Insert. And we want to size it down to about 30%. So let's size it to 30. All right, and then I'm going to tab and say OK. And OK, and one more time. All right, so now you've got everything all set up as it should be. All right, so say OK, save it, and there you go. All right, so it's ready to show me. You're not going to print it, but it's ready to show me. So go back now, and we'll stop here. So save your work, and that's it.